Hello everyone. One of my reading plans this year is to include uh, books of uh, new authors, including those who have uh, who are debuting this year with their writings, and also to incre increase the perimeter of my literary genre. And in accordance with this, I actually came across this book uh, because it's love by Kishore Nanda. So this is a new book of a debutant author. So one of my plan is of Kadan. And secondly, I thought that this is a romantic novel, uh, as the name suggests. So of course, the second is also done. But uh, when I read the synopsis, um, I found out yes, this is this this particular book includes romance, yes, but it is a romance of a different kind. It is not the usual run of the mill boy girl meets boy romance, but it is a, a, a romance towards uh, relationships, towards life, towards humanity, towards um, compassion, towards loyalty. Now, before I go further into this book, a little bit about the author Kishore Nanda. Now, Kishore uh, Nanda was born in Anandpur in Andhra Pradesh. He did his MBA uh, from IPM Hyderabad. And like all people who finished their postgraduate uh, uh, post degree, he uh, joined a corporate. He uh, spent many years in, corporate, in the corporate world. Until one fine day, I guess, he got his true calling in writing and he left his job to become a full-time author. Now, in search for his uh, for the story for his first book, he uh, made a lot of uh, documentary films about orphan children, about abandoned parents, about uh, terminally ill patients, and he also interviewed them. And the stories in this particular book is actually inspired by the stories of all these people. Now, the book. Uh, the book, as I said, uh, is a romantic novel. It is a, a romance of a different kind. It's a romance of towards life and towards relationships. There are basically four main protagonists of this book. The first protagonist is Arif. He comes across as a very manipulative and a materialistic person. He is a debutant author and he is looking for a girl, a terminally ill patient uh, in the last um, stages of cancer whom uh, who sh he can use for uh, promoting his book and he has no remorse in that. The second protagonist is Abhiram. Abhiram is a very loving father and uh, but uh, he's abandoned by his children as when they, found, uh, when they find out that he is suffering from AIDS. The third protagonist of this particular book is Rajesh. Rajesh comes across as a Casanova and he uh, sees women as objects and he uses them for his love and he uh, does not care about the feelings of any of the women that he dates. And uh, the fourth and the last protagonist is Karan. Karan comes across as a person whose motto in life is time is money and he spends his entire life in uh, running after earning more and more money and he overlooks uh, the need for uh, for for uh, uh, making and uh, developing and nurturing relationships in this process until the time he finds out that he is suffering from cancer and he is in the last stages of his life. So all these four stories, they run parallel to each other, they are not connected to each other and uh, each chapter deals simultaneously with the story of one character each. Uh, and um, the best part about Kishore's writing is that he makes it a page turner by uh, ending each chapter at a situation where you would love to know what happens to the character next. And um, when I read this book, I went through a rainbow of emotions from laughter to uh, sadness to uh, anger and but at the end uh, the emotion that came out as a winner is of course love. All in all it's a lovely book to read and if you're a beginner and if you're looking for a very good read then this is one book that I can recommend that you can pick up for reading. Right? Uh, so if you like this book review please do subscribe to my channel, like and comment this video on this video. Thank you very much.